So I saw these molds on AliExpress and I thought they were absolutely adorable. So I had to get them and they just came. So I'm going to try them. So I've got some resin here mixed up. I've got some clear glitter mixed into it. I'm just gonna blast it with my heat gun to remove the bubbles that are on the surface right now. I could also sit it in some warm water to do that and let them all rise to the surface. I think I'm gonna do that and be back because I don't wanna get a whole bunch of bubbles in my resin or in my snowflakes. All right, so I think I have the majority of the bubbles out of my resin, the rest are gonna um, lift to the top. So I've got some clear glitter already in my resin mixed in there. And because it's clear, I'm not actually sure if we're gonna see it, but I thought it would be nice to have some clear sparkles in there. And then once I've got these half full, I'm gonna mix in some Pearl X into my mix and then top them up with the Pearl X. All right, let's add some Pearl X. Now when you're actually adding stuff to your resin, make sure you're not adding more than 10% of the amount of, look at the amount of resin that you have there and don't add more than 10% of that amount with whatever you're um, adding to it, especially if you're adding liquids like acrylic paint and stuff like that. Powders and glitters can be a little bit more forgiving, obviously, because they're not changing the consistency of the actual resin, but just be aware of what you're adding to it. So the Pearl X that I added is just a pearl one. So it's not gonna add color. I wanted these to stay fairly neutral, fairly light, clear, white, snowflake-ish looking. So I'm just trying to divide the resin that I have left between the remaining molds. I'm noticing that my um, My shower curtain here has some folds in it that are making some of the areas rise up so they're not filling as much as I would like. But I still think they're gonna be beautiful. I think I'm gonna move this guy to a more flat area over here. Yeah, that's a better space for it. Move that one there, move that one there. There we go. A little bit of resin still left in my cup, so I'm just adding it to these. Once they're full, though, you don't want to add any more once they're completely full, because they're just going to overflow and you're going to have to trim it. And then any bubbles that you see floating to the surface, you're going to want to take your heat gun and you're gonna to wanna to pop those. So just wanna try to get the last of this resin out here. And then I'm gonna pop the bubbles that have risen. Oops. Just be careful with the heat gun though, especially with the molds from um, AliExpress. I've never had a problem with them myself, but I hear that um, sometimes you can find, get ones that don't like the heat and don't react well to it. So just be a little bit careful about it. So I tend to just, when I see the bubbles at the top, I tend to just lightly um, blast it with some hot air and not actually hold the heat gun right on it and move around fairly quickly. All right, so I'm gonna leave those as is and I will un be back to unmold them tomorrow. All right, so these have cured overnight. So a moment of truth. Let's see how they turned out. I like that the molds are nice and flexible. Easy to get off. There is some bubbles and stuff like that at the end there. So something to keep in mind for next time, but that's cute. Impressed at how much of the clear glitter shown through too.
love that. That's adorable. Is definitely a couple bubbles here that I'll pay attention to again next time, but that's really cute. So there is holes in here that you can put um, something in so that there is a hole at the top to make them an ornament. I think if I choose to make them an ornament, I'm just gonna um, take a drill with a fine bit in it and just drill a hole. And then some of them come with these things and I think that's meant to go in the hole. Some of these you definitely have to pull a little bit harder to get the ornament out. But these are turning out super cute. I think for the rest of the year as I'm doing projects, any extra resin, I'm just gonna put them in these molds and then by the end of next year, I'll have a whole bunch of different resin snowflakes. But look at, those are adorable. There's not, I mean, there's some sparkle to them. You can definitely see the glitter. There's not a ton of um, glitter in there, so I can't wait to experiment a little bit more with these. So cute, they're adorable. Mm -hmm.